it out. <laughs> Look at this box. Cover Girls just sent me. I had like a whole plan of what I was gonna film today. And then I got this box and I was like, okay, this, this trumps it. Ready for it? What does my face tell you? What? Okay, Doesn't we're not gonna play great. the whole thing. Cover Girls sent me their entire 2018 spring makeup collection. And I decided to give it a whirl. I wanna put it on my face. I legit have not tried anything in this box. I actually haven't even worn a CoverGirl product in a long time. So, and I know you guys were asking for a full face tutorial and this is just like, how did that happen? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I can do an entire face just, <gasps> there's drawers and they're opening. Pretty sure I can do an entire face using everything in this box. So we're gonna go for it and see how it turns out. There is no primer, but this says it's CoverGirl Vitalist Go Glow Illuminizing Lotion. And on this piece of paper, it says, uh, available in two shades, this lightweight moisturizer with light reflecting pigments give your skin a naturally hydrated, luminous glow. Available now. Okay, so I guess this is like a primer slash moisturizer slash foundation. So we're gonna try it out and see how it works. Okay, so this product definitely doesn't give cover, like a lot of coverage. It's definitely giving some coverage. It's a very natural looking um, product for sure. Like definitely good for summer. Just like if like you're on the beach or something. Actually, I'm gonna try to use this as a foundation. I mean, it definitely can be used as a foundation. It's definitely like one of those products that's like whatever you feel comfortable using it for, you know? But it feels really, really good on the skin. My skin looks really like radiant while it's on. So I'm excited to see where this goes. I just have like, do you see this like, it looks like a burn, but I had like a pore strip and it like ripped off my skin, no big deal. So I have like a scab right there. So I might have to cover that up a little bit more, but I actually really like the way that this looks. Now for concealer, we have this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. And this, I'm confused. Okay, it's a twist up. This product definitely has natural uh, coverage for sure. I'm actually gonna go in for a second layer and just get the darkness away again, but it definitely is a natural product. So the next product I'm gonna use is this Vitalist Healthy Powder. It says that this is gonna give some coverage and that it's gonna be moisturizing and everything like that, so. I don't want my face to be super matte, so I'm not gonna put a lot on, but definitely on my under eyes. I didn't realize how much color would be in this powder, so I have to put it on my entire face. <laughs> Cause I put it on my under eyes, not realizing that like it had like actual foundation color in it. So I'm just gonna put this all over. Okay, this is the Vitalist Healthy Glow product. This is their highlighter. It's in like a little tiny jar like this. Whoa, all right, let's see, let's see. I just put powder on my face, so like I feel like Actually, not mad at this highlight. It's definitely unlike anything I've ever used before. The consistency is like almost moussey. I wish I had put it on before I powdered though because obviously like it's just not gonna look as good because there's powder there. But I'm not mad at it actually. Okay, so for eyes or for brows, I'm gonna do a combination of this CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Rich Brown. And then I'm going to use CoverGirl Easy Breezy Sculpt and Set Brow Pomade, Pomade. I, I never know how to say that word. But okay, yeah, I'm gonna do a combination of these. I don't know you guys, I am very loyal to my dip brow. So if this is good, that'll say a lot. Actually the pencil, I can already tell is really nice. Like it's not overly pigmented where like it looks bad. It's not too warm either. A lot of brow pencils, they make them like red. I'm actually really, really surprised at how much I like this. 
it really, really worked well. I mean, they look like my normal brows, I would say. Wow, killing it, cover girl. It's so good. Okay, now to uh, prime my eyelids. I'm gonna use this cover girl lid lock up eye primer, and I'm just gonna put it on and blend it out. I am actually gonna set it with uh, just a loose powder that I have though, because I can't go in with shadow unless I have like powder on my lids first. Okay, so for eyeshadow, they sent me three different palettes. I guess these are the three palettes that are new in the spring collection. So we have the Katie Cat palette, this one, and then we have the Katie Cat palette, this one. This is the cool one, this is the warm one, as you can see. And then we have this uh, CoverGirl True Naked Smoky palette. I feel like I've seen this one before, um, but I think I'm gonna use one of these ones. Which one? I think I'm gonna use both. That's the verdict that just came to me. <laughs> 10 seconds. I'm gonna start with this shade right here. Does it have a name? I don't think it has a name, but I'm gonna go in with this one, that little brown one. I'm just gonna start putting this in my crease area. Hope for the best. I actually have a good feeling about this. I just gave it a little swatch and I was like, boom. Oh. Wow. It's definitely pigmented, like for sure. So now I'm gonna go in with this darker brown right here. Okay, once again, pigmentation there, 100%. So I've been sitting here contemplating what color to put on my actual lid space. And I think I'm gonna take the cool palette and go with this one in the center. Okay, now moving on to the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the same shade that we started with and a little pencil brush, and I'm just gonna start putting this on like the outer third, outer something. I'm gonna take this darker brown right here and then just a little tiny bit of this shade, like literally the tiniest bit, and I'm going to define the lash line a little bit more, the lower lash line. Okay, so I did just add a little bit of inner corner pop. I used that shade right there from the Cool Palette. I hope I'm calling that the right name. I just realized that. The Hot and Cool Palette, okay. So now I'm gonna use this liquid liner. It's called Get In Line Liner. This is black. This is actually the matte black one. They have a bunch of different blacks. They've got like shiny black, matte black, and this is the black one. I actually just did it on this eye while we weren't recording because I forgot that we were filming because I always forget. And I really, really, I'm like overly excited about this because it's super thin and like really bendable, which is my favorite when it comes to liquid eyeliner because it's just really easy to work with. So yeah. I am really, really, really excited about this. Okay, now for mascara, I'm gonna use this CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. They have this in waterproof as well, but I'm not gonna use waterproof today. I actually prefer my mascara not to be waterproof. I don't like to work to get it off, but I am gonna put on false lashes after I put on mascara. Obviously, I don't have any CoverGirl brand lashes, so I'm just gonna throw on whatever pair I have. But this mascara is actually pretty nice. I do have globs of lash glue stuck in my lashes right now, so it's near impossible for me to see on my top lashes if I like a mascara. But the bottom lashes are the real test, and I put that on, I put that on after lashes. So I'm gonna put on false lashes, and I will be right back. Okay, so I realized that this package, the only thing this package didn't have was a bronzer, a blush, that's it. So I just uh, went in and just put my normal bronzer on, which is the Too Faced chocolate bronzer and then the Too Faced Love Flush, How Deep Is Your Love for Blush. I didn't add another highlight because I figured this one was still going strong. Look at my hands. This happens to me every single time I try new products. We're gonna move on to lips. So there's so many lip products here, literally like I don't, I have no idea where to start, but um, I decided I was gonna try a gloss and a matte lipstick because I'm really curious about the um, matte lipsticks, but I personally like glosses more, so we're gonna do both. 
I almost feel like I should do like an entire dedicated swatch video because there's literally so many lipsticks. So I'm gonna start with this one. It's called CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte in the shade. It's in the shade Ballerina. That just took me 25 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna um, see how this is. I hope I like the color because there's like a million colors for me to choose from and I chose this one. Ooh, it smells like bubble gum. It smells really good. I really like this color a lot. I'm curious to see how it's going to dry. See, I see when I just uh, put my lips together, it just like transferred a little bit. So I'm gonna give it a minute to dry and see what happens. See if it's super drying or if it is hydrating, what happens here. So give me like, uh, let's say like five minutes and we'll check back in. BRB. Oh, it's been like five minutes and this is dry, definitely dry, but it feels really good. It doesn't feel thick. It feels very light. Um, I actually have really, really high hopes for this one specifically. I mean, there's a bunch of shades, but this one, I really like the color. So I'm really excited. Now I want, first of all, wait, look at this. I just found this. It's literally a white lip gloss. What? I really want to do a swatch video after this because that just intrigued me, but I'm gonna try this Katie Cat gloss in the shade. Oh God, not this again. Catalope, cute. Also, this is really cute because it's got like a little cat on the lid. Mm. Hmm. It's definitely a thicker gloss and there is glitter in this, so I could feel the glitter a little bit, but it doesn't feel bad. It's pretty pigmented, like um, I'm gonna give a swatch. So I feel like this would actually be the type of gloss that you might wanna wear alone because it actually has a good amount of pigment to it. It's, I'm not gonna lie, this one is a little chunky. Like as I'm swatching it, you can kind of see it's just a little chunky, but it's not bad. It's genuinely not bad, but here is the swatch. Can you kind of see what I mean by chunky? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Mm, I don't know if it translates on camera, but it just is chunky. That's the only way I can put it. It's not my favorite lip gloss ever, especially because I'm a lip gloss snob because lip gloss is like my favorite thing ever. But um, yeah, I need to try other shades before I fully judge that. But I'm gonna take this off and then re-put on the other lipstick because I liked it better. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is set my face using this CoverGirl Look Lock Up All Day Setting Mist. So it's a setting spray and yeah oh god always get the first sprays not on your face because okay first of all it smells really really good it also has a really nice sprayer all right so that concludes this uh, first impression slash one brand tutorial slash regular tutorial slash a lot of other things that I can't think of right now. But honestly, like to conclude everything, I feel like these products are really, really good. Like there isn't one thing that I would say I didn't like other than nothing really. The foundation, I really, or the like whatever that was, like the first product I used, I really, really like it. Honestly, like I wouldn't use it for a look like this where I'm doing like full glam. I would probably more gravitate towards it when I'm doing more of a natural look. Same thing with the concealer. It's not very full coverage. Like it's actually not full coverage at all. It's like light coverage. And I like that, but I, I didn't know what I was getting into literally. So I, I wish I had a little bit more coverage on my face just so that it like all went together. But honestly, like all the products are so good. The shadows are amazing. The lipstick, I love this lip lipstick so much. Um, what else? The brow stuff was amazing. It was all really, really good. I'm so impressed. Like seriously, CoverGirl has amped up their game so much since the last time I've used their stuff, like for real. And it's all drugstore, it's all affordable. So that's amazing. I love it so much. First of all, um, yeah. <laughs> Why did I say first of all when I'm like ending? So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos every single week so you could check out those. Um, leave a comment and let me know what you want my next video to be. And yeah, let me know if you've tried any of these products before. Like I said, this was literally, I have never tried any of these. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.